Hi, it's Karen Turner. I'm going to do a short demonstration today on Excel date functions. First little trick I wanted to show you. If you want today's date, there is a formula for it, which is equals today, open bracket, close bracket. But you can also do a shortcut key, which is control and semicolon. And that just pops in today's date. What I was showing you here is that I put in some random dates in the left column. And then I wanted to calculate 30 days from those dates. The way that I do that is with an edate function. So that's equals edate, open bracket. Then you click on your start date and you put a comma, how many months you want to go forward. So one month from there, if I just finish that off, it gives me a date number. Now that's how Excel stores dates. If you want to see a date number as a proper date, you go up to the number group on the home ribbon and you click on there and we'll take a short date format. It's gone from April to May. Same date, one month forward. What if you wanted the end of the month though? So what you would type for that is equals EO month, open a bracket. Your start date is still the same A5. You put in a comma and it would be again one month from there. But this time you're going to get the date at the end of the month following. So let's just repeat our little format here and pop it in as a short date. So you can see that it's now gone from the 15th of April right up to the end of May. Now if you wanted to know how many days that was, the calculation that you would want is equals days 360. Open a bracket, take the first cell that contains the date that you want the start date to be, put a comma in, and then go to the date that you want to know is the end date. So we'll look to see how many days it is between the date, say for example, that an invoice was raised, until the date that it's due for payment. I can tick that and I can see it's 46 days in this case. Another nice little trick that I learned was that you can find out which day of the week any date was. So if I copy over our start date and just paste it in, what day of the week was it? If I call up my format numbers box, which is a shortcut that I always use, control and one, here you can see you've got the format cells box. If I go to custom, and I just take out the type, instead I just put all days, four Ds, it tells me right here, it's a Monday. And if I want to pop that on my spreadsheet, I say okay. Now having done those, of course, if you wanted to repeat the exercise all the way down the spreadsheet, you could just double click. So that's all I wanted to show you for today. Have fun with date functions.